All right, guys, it is hot out there. I know it's hot. The tip of the day to beat the heat is gonna be using chapstick, okay? We don't want dry, busted lips out there. It's only gonna make you more miserable. Remember to stay hydrated in every way you can, and chapstick is the way to stay hydrated today. Okay, guys, we're gonna roll right into it. Our production numbers have been going down a little bit, so we need to have a group discussion on what we think we can do to get those picks back up. Who would like to go first? Ricky, what do you think we could do to get production numbers back up? What do I think we should do? Shit, first off, you're going to swap that chapstick out for some super glue so you'll shut the fuck up. Okay? Because I don't want to hear nothing about production. It's like 108 degrees out there right now. Production is the last thing I'm worried about. I'm worried about fucking surviving at this moment. Hey, I don't appreciate remarks like that. All right? I don't want these other guys thinking they can talk to me like that, so you need to stop. All right, I do not appreciate that in any way, shape, or form. I know everybody's a little bit agitated because of the heat, but we just need to work together and figure this out, okay? What you need to be figuring out is what happened to that new guy that went missing at one o'clock, okay? Half these people here think he just went to his truck, quit, and left, and went home because it was too hot for him. I personally am starting to think he may have evaporated because the heat index is 108 right now. So why don't you figure that out before you worry about anything else? Ah, oh, shit, we still hadn't found that guy? I thought we'd already found him. Boss man, help me out here. Say something, I don't know, anything. Just tell him it's not really that hot out there and we just need to work through it and get our numbers back up. Listen, man, I would love to help you and tell you that it's not hot, but on my way to work this morning, I see my crackhead neighbor putting the copper back in his air conditioner. Okay, it's a little toasty out there, to say the least. Okay, now, now that's a little hard to believe, okay? We both know that shit was at the scrapyard as soon as he took it out. Look, y'all two are being a little bit overdramatic. I'm gonna have to resort to something I don't normally wanna do. Roscoe, tell these young bucks, okay? Tell them that it was hotter back in the day. I know you wanna say it. Tell them it was hotter back then and they're just being weak and this is nothing compared to what you had to work in when you were young. Give me something. All right, uh, well, boys, I've been on this earth a lot of years. I done worked me a lot of hot summers, a lot of cold winters. But this year, this year, on this day, I'm starting to think that global warming may be real. I tried to give you a chance here. You were supposed to help me. Okay, guys, what am I supposed to tell the office today when I call them? about the production, because they've been asking why it's been slowly decreasing day by day. What am I supposed to tell them, guys? You wanna know what to tell them? This is what you tell them. You call them and tell them production numbers are still down and they're most likely gonna stay down, okay? If they wanna know why they're down, tell them to put on a long sleeve FR shirt, blue jeans, steel toe boots, and a hard hat, safety vest, safety glasses, earplugs, and walk out into the parking lot and stand in the direct sunlight for 30 straight minutes. And if they still want to complain about the production numbers after they survive that, if they do, then we will gladly come over there and unhook their air conditioner. If they'll fucking unhook that air conditioner at the office and work that way, we have no problem at all working just a little bit harder out here in the field.